This skill is number 29 on your skill sheet. Uh, this is negotiating a 90 degree edge. Uh, for this drill, we've got Andrew on a belay uh, on his uh, external attachment here. The belay's happening over there, we're not focusing on that. This is our rappel line in front of us that we're doing. The whole, uh, the whole premise of the skill is to avoid inversions or, or big slips as we're going over 90 degree edges without high points there. So in order to go, it's a, it feels like it's a little bit of extra of a skill, but we've seen this work great for difficult edge transitions. Um, you, you, you may have a hard time selling this to your students if you've got a parapet or a natural high point in place. And so in order to actually make this work, you really need to have a good 90 degree edge or even better as a design is an overhanging edge uh, to actually kind of sell the skill. Uh, but to start off with, Andrew is going to take off his rappel device. Here we're using a scarab. Uh, this of course can be substituted for any other device depending on rope. Uh, you could use a, a figure eight or an ATC or any of the other devices. Uh, he's gonna place that on the line. Now what he's going to do is actually pull that in place over the edge and he's going to measure it precisely so that the scarab rests just past the 90 degree lip. Now what he's going to do is secure that scarab with a wrap and a lock off before he attaches it on his harness. So the placement is really key here. The whole goal is that you don't have to bother with this device once you go over the edge. Once he's secured that, he'll then attach it onto his harness in a standard rappel position. And then he'll pick up the, this rope grab, which we're using a handle to sender and an atrier for this uh, trigger station. And he's gonna put it uh, somewhere between 18 inches to two feet above the, uh, the actual device. Now, he'll put that, that over the edge, okay? And then he'll take a seat facing outward. In this case, the rappel line will be off to his left side because he's right-handed. He's going to turn around as he goes over the edge. Now, because of that, he's going to take, if the, his rappel line is off to his left side, and now he'll go ahead and take his right foot into a crossover step weight the line with his foot, transferring all the weight onto the handle of the sender and then working his device over the edge. And you can see here that the line above the, the sender where it's grabbing is weighted, down here is slack. That allows him to negotiate his device past the edge and gently and, and carefully load the system. Okay, now once he's there, he can then take his foot out of the atrier and move into standard rappel position. This skill will work really well when we get to uh, horizontal edge transitions with the litter and no high point. And it's the, the, the closer you are to the edge, the safer you'll be. Now to repeat that skill, Andrew will just invert the steps. So taking a step in the atrier, and this is where, if you want to, you can move the handle of the sender a little further away from the edge, make a little longer grab. It's helpful close to the edge. Sometimes we'll put two of them there just to give a couple of extra handles to hold on to. Or this is where your edge uh, tendon can assist getting over. So if Andrew isn't quite high enough, he's got that atrier and he can take another step up uh, to actually assist over the edge. And it's a rotation pivot as he comes around uh, on that uh, uh, transition. Uh, it's, it feels a little bulky to add in the rope grab and the rope ladder, uh, that atrier, uh, but it's very effective uh, and it plays really well into the rest of the skill sheet.